attention is common sense, right? Then why is it that it's not so common? Think about it. We get told to pay attention from when we're little. Our teachers tell us to pay attention. Our parents tell us to pay attention. Everyone tells us to pay attention. It's quite annoying. And yet, it's not as common to pay attention as I hoped. You see, in all of the research that I did, all the CEOs I interviewed, and all the audiences I've been in service of across the years, I've realized that when it comes to truly managing time, well, you can't manage time, but you can manage your attention. It's something we can control. And so I spent several years researching for our latest book called Attention Pays. And what I outlined is really that there are three ways that we pay attention. Firstly, it's personally. Personally is about who deserves your attention? It's about giving attention to the right people. This is about being really thoughtful. So the key question here is, who deserves your attention? The second way we pay attention is professionally. This is about what deserves your attention and this is focusing on the right activities. This is about truly being productive. So the key question here is what? What deserves your attention? And the third way we pay attention is globally. This is truly about how you pay attention in the world. This is about being responsible and being a contributor. And it could be in your community, in your alumni, your church, your temple, or maybe even on the planet. And the key question here is how? So personally is who deserves your attention, professionally is what deserves your attention, and globally is how are you going to pay attention in the world. I want to challenge you today just to think about if you have one minute in just one interaction with just one person that you might be able to create one moment that could create a memory that would last a lifetime. Because I believe that when you pay attention, Attention pays.